What's up Laravel developers, it's Dari here and I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I want to show you how you could easily add verification after email registration in Laravel. Now before I continue on with the video, I want to quickly let you know that you can support the channel through Patreon, which is linked in the description down below. You will get some pretty cool benefits such as a private Discord group where everyone is helping each other out and you can decide the video series that I'm going to make through polls. So if you are interested to join, the link is in the description down below. In the Laravel videos that I created in the past, and especially the project that I've made, we touched on the authentication scaffolding a lot. With the double dash auth command that we performed at the beginning of this course, we basically pulled in an entire front-end scaffolding. But there are a lot of things that you need or can adjust in order to make it a working login and registration system. On a lot of web apps on the internet, you usually don't get access to the data right after registration, since there's always a verification attached to it. Now the email verification does not work right off the bat, since you need to make some adjustments to make it work. Now if we navigate to our controllers, you can see an art folder right there. So let's open it with a verification controller. This controller handles email verification for users that create a new account. Inside the user model that we have, we need to implement the verification class. You can see that the user class extends authenticatable, and we also need to say that it implements the must verify email. Save it. We're not done yet, but we are done inside the model. Close it off. The next step is telling the route that the user needs to be verified before they can proceed. So let's open the web.php file. Right here, you can see that we have the odd colon colon routes. In order to tell the routes that verification needs to be enabled, we need to pass an array inside a method. Verify, which is an array. And let's say we want to set that equal to true. So we're enabling verification. Save it. There's one more step left right there. Whenever you do anything related to authentication, you pull in the middleware in your controller. Let's open it. Let's open the home controller. Let's open it. You can see that this middleware is using the auth. Let's remove it. Let's pass in an array instead because we need to pass in two values. The first one is odd again, comma, and the second one is verified. This is all you need to do in order to add verification. Now the last thing that we need to do is to test it out. I'm using Mailtrap to catch my emails so I can navigate to the register page. I already have it open. Now the name is Dari. My email is info at darinazar.com. My password is something secret. And my confirmed password is also something secret equal to my password. Click on register. It's taking a second. All right. As you can see, we're being hit with a screen that we haven't seen before because we need to verify our email. Let's open Mailtrap. We have a new email. And right here, you can see that we have an email with a button called verify email address. And before we click on the button, you can see a URI right here, which has a verified token inside of it. So let's copy the link. Let's replace it with Mailtrap. And as you can see, we have verified our account and we are logged in. This was it for this video where we verified our email after registration. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button.